Hey guys, come on downstairs. It's a little Minnesota Twins franchise. We're in season number seven. We're going to play games four through six. And we're on the road in Chicago. So hello everybody, come on downstairs. It's the little Minnesota Twins franchise. We're on the south side of Chicago. This is a shot of Lake Michigan looking from north to south. And you can see the cloud cover behind the skyline. That is where we are playing baseball at. It is overcast and the rain is coming down here in Chicago for game number one. It's our fourth game of the season. Facing the Chicago White Sox who are two and one. We lost two out of three against the Tigers in our opening series. And we will send our fourth spot in the rotation starter, Jose De Leon to the hill to face the White Sox, Tyler Barrero. And we're going to get things underway here in the first inning. Delino to Shields with two outs. Runners on second and third. Chance to get the Twins on top. A little chopper towards third. Third baseman charging. Makes the play. And the White Sox get out of the inning with no runs scored. We go to inning number two now. This is William Manning with the runner on third and one out facing Jose De Leon. Here's the delivery. Sharply hit towards short. And Robert Jones, the only play is to first. That'll score a run for Chicago and they strike first here in the opener of the series. One to nothing at the end of two. White Sox with the lead. Let's move ahead now to inning number four. William Manning at the plate again. Full count. Runners on first and second, and Manning's going to deliver one into right field. And Starling Marte falls down. That's going to allow run one, one run to score. Here comes another one. Relay not in time. And it's three to nothing, White Sox. William Manning with all three RBIs for Chicago. End of the fourth. To the fifth inning we go. This is Starling Marte with two outs. Runner on first, facing the left-handed Barrero. And Marte's gonna send one into the gap. That one's gonna one-hop the wall. Runner on first is gonna come all the way around to score. That is Roman Quinn. And it's an RBI double. First RBI in a Twins uniform for Starling Marte. And Minnesota's on the board. It's now three to one. Here is Jose Abreu. Bottom of the fifth inning with one on and one out. 1-0 one -oh count. Here's the pitch. This one is driven deep to center field. That one's got a chance. And it is gone. 429-foot home run off the bat of Jose Abreu. It's a two-run shot. And the White Sox are now up 5-1. So we're in danger of losing three of our first four games of this season. We're not going to panic yet. There's no panic. Rick Guzman coming in for the White Sox. Still 5-1. to one. We're in the top of the sixth inning. Nobody out. Mario Calero with runners on first and second. And Calero is going to deliver a base hit into center. Runner on second will round third. He'll come in to score. The throws up the first baseline. And it's now 5-2. to two. Mario Calero with the RBI. Two outs now, same inning, runner on third. Roman Quinn at the plate. And Quinn, this one might get down. No, it won't. It is caught in center by Anthony Alford. And in the middle of six, it's five to two, White Sox. Let's go to inning number eight. Angel Reyes making his second appearance of the season. Facing... Mario Calero, 0-2 with two outs in the eighth. And Calero right back up the middle. Charging is Anderson who makes the play. And it's still 5-2. Ninth inning now. Michael Enoa. 
making his second appearance of the season. He's going to face Starling Marte. Game still 5-2. to two. two outs in the ninth with a runner on second. And Marte is late on the fastball, and he strikes out. And the White Sox take game one of this three-game series here on the south side. So a 5-2 win for Chicago. They are 3-1 now, along with the Detroit Tigers, who are 3-1. We fall to 1-3, along with Cleveland. And then the Royals are 3-2. Starling Marte went 3-5 for five in this game with a double and an RBI. That was a bright spot for us. See our new acquisition do some damage. And now we go to game number two of the series. Robbie Ray will make the start. A season to go for Arizona, 32 starts, 8-12 and 12 record, a 4.07 ERA in 163 innings. He will face the lefty Eric Upchurch. Upchurch went 7-6 and six a year ago with a 3.87 ERA. Let's get things started here in inning number one. This is Miguel Sano at the plate with nobody out. Runners on first and second, so Upchurch in a bit of a jam already in the top of the first. Here's the delivery from Upchurch. And this is going to be a ground ball to short. Anderson with a diving play, and he'll start the double play. So that is a rally killer from Miguel Sano. A nice play by Anderson, Tim Anderson at short. And now we have Raimel Tapia with two outs and a runner on third. And he's going to hit this one high and deep to left, but it's not deep enough. So once again, the Twins get some runners on, but end up getting nothing from it. Middle of the first inning, no score. Moving to the third inning. Jace Boyd with one out and a runner on first facing Robbie Ray. 2-2 count, delivery from Ray. This one's ripped into left down the line, heading towards the corner. Here comes the throw towards second. It's cut off and he is in safely with an RBI double. And an RBI double from Jace Boyd gives the White Sox a one to nothing lead. Here's Felipe Fabregas now. Still the bottom of the third. Runners on the corners with one out. Here's the delivery from Ray to third. Nolan Arenado starting a possible double play. He's got it. So that gets us out of the inning. Only one run given up. And there is our platinum glove third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Sixth inning now. Score still one to nothing, Chicago. William Manning at the plate. Nobody on with one out. Still facing Robbie Ray, who's about to throw pitch number 77. And he gets William Manning to strike out. Third strikeout of the day for Ray. End of the sixth inning, it's still just one to nothing, White Sox. To the seventh inning we go now. We're going to bring in Jake Reed out of the pen. Season to go, five games, a 1-0 record as he was called up later on in the season. Here's Tim Anderson. He's going to strike out swinging at a 78-mile-per-hour breaking ball off the outside corner of the plate. 1-2 count now to Jace Boyd, and that one ties him up in all kinds of knots. Jake Reed with another strikeout, and that keeps the score at 1-0. At the end of the seventh, Jake Reed comes in, does his job. Let's see if the offense can give us any kind of support here as we go to the eighth inning. David Robertson, one for one in save opportunities this season. And he's going to have a chance here for uh, possibly a two-inning save if they choose to let him go two innings. But here is Nolan Arenado. Arenado slices one down the right field line. Just past the glove of a diving Jose Abreu. And now with nobody out, the Twins have runners on the corners for Miguel Sano. Here comes the 3-2 pitch from Robertson. And Sano sends this one high and deep to left. That one's got a chance. Back of the track of the wall. It's gone. A home run for Miguel Sano, and the Twins have taken the lead. First home run of the year for the big fella. A three-run shot. It's now 3-1 three to one Minnesota. And we hold on to get the win by a score of 3-1. to one. Starling Marte went 3-5 for five again in this one with a double. 
And Miguel Sano with that big three-run home run is your player of the game. So we improved to two and three. The White Sox fall to three and two. The Tigers, Royals, and Indians all had the day off. All right, game number six. Third and final game of this three-game series on the south side before we pack things up and head to Baltimore. Jose Barrios will be making his second start of the year. His first one was a loss on opening day to Detroit. He's going to be facing Carson Fulmer. Making his second start as well, a 5.14 ERA in seven innings in his first outing for the White Sox. Let's get this one started in the third inning. Michael Conforto at the plate, runners on first and second. A pair of outs. Here's Conforto. Rips one into the gap in right center. That one's going to bounce off the middle of the wall. And one run will score. Another runner will end up at third, and Conforto will end up at second. Middle of the third inning, Twins lead it two to nothing. Nolan Arenado at the plate now. Top of the fourth inning. Two outs, runners on second and third. Chance to do some more damage, and he's going to chop this one right up the middle. Should be an easy play for Anderson. It is. And no more damage done for Minnesota. They lead it two to nothing still. Here it's getaway day. We finally have a little bit of sunlight in this series. William Manning at the plate now. The bottom of the fourth with two outs. And Jose Brio strikes him out to end the inning. Two to nothing, Minnesota with the lead. At the end of the fourth. Let's go to the fifth inning. This is Jose Abreu at the plate. Two outs, runners on first and second. And he's going to line it right back up the middle for a base hit. Runner rounding third is going to come in without a throw. And the throw will be into third to try to hold the runner at second. End of the fifth innings, the Twins get out of it. It's still 2-1 to one Minnesota. Let's go to the sixth. This is William Manning. Man, he's been prominent in this series. William Manning with the runner on first, and he's going to find the gap somehow with that one. Rhino Tapia missed, misjudged that somehow. He was just jogging after it, and it gets past him. RBI double for William Manning, and we are now tied up. We bring in Jimmy Dyer out of the pen. Runner on second with one out. This is Kevin Smith, the catcher. Smith with a base hit, and a run comes in to score, giving the White Sox the lead. End of the sixth inning, Chicago has taken the lead by a score of 3-2. to two. Let's go to the eighth inning now. Angel Reyes on for the White Sox, making his third appearance, second of this series. And he's going to be facing Mario Calero with a chance to tie the game up at three. Runner in scoring position, 3-1 count. Here's the delivery, chopped right back up to the pitcher. Here's the throw to first in time, but a run does come in to score. And we're all tied up at three in the eighth. Now Number 15. Middle of the eighth inning. It's a new ball game. Now Bottom of the inning, we go to JT Chargua. Chargua making his fourth appearance of the season. He's going to be extremely important for us this year. And this one is going to get down its fair. Down the right field line. And it's a leadoff double for the White Sox in the bottom of the eighth. Drew Ward. Fourth double of the season. That'll bring up the catcher, Kevin Smith. Here with two outs now. And a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. And Smith is going to do it. He dumps one into center field. That's going to play to run. And it's 4-3 to three White Sox with the lead at the end of the eighth. So we're going to get one more chance in the ninth. They're going to bring in Michael Enoa to look for save number two on the season. And with two outs and a runner in scoring position, Starling Marte has a chance to tie this game up or give the Twins the lead with a home run. 0-2 count, and he chases off the plate, and that is the way this rubber match will end the White Sox. Take two out of three in this series. We fall to two and four, a four to three loss. 
Michael Conforto went two for four with a double. Roman Quinn, two for five with a double. Raimel Tapia went three for four. So no two for three for us. But we do fall in Chicago. We lose two out of three. We're going to head to Baltimore now with a record of two and four. It's Minnesota Twins franchise. Up next, we'll have our flight from Chicago to Baltimore here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.